Technivorous channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. All right, folks, Technivorous here. Today we're going to talk about something that I don't normally cover on the channel here. That is a little friendly boat that they call Benchy. And we're going to talk about it today because it is a rather good printer test. So I've found the original Benchy, or a regular Benchy as I like to call it. Uh, there are a ton of different Benchies you can find here. Uh, I'm using the Thingy browser in Kira, but you can just go over to Thingiverse or My Mini Factory and, and look up Benchy. Although, if you go directly to Thingiverse.com and type slash thing colon, uh, this is thing number 4164071. So I'm going to hit details and add to build plate. We're not actually using my Ender 3 today. We're going to kick this over to the FL Sun Q5 because I've yet to do a Benchy on the Q5. And I want to take a couple of minutes to just kind of talk about why this is a perfect printer test. You can kind of almost see it just from the shape, which is obviously the reason that this is a test for your printer. Now, if you take a good look at it, let me get it in view here. You'll notice that this slope curves ever so slightly until it's way out here. That's a pretty good overhang test. Uh, you get a good test of your circular abilities and abilities to over gap without support. And you get some good lining abilities as well as obviously the sides. You'll get to see the how that particular filament looks layer line wise on that printer. Um, but there is also a couple of vertical holes here. Now vertical holes are a little bit trickier because with, with the Cartesian machine they don't come out as well. They don't come out as circular as they do with one of these Delta machines. So I'm looking for those to be a little bit better than I've seen in some of the benches in the past. Um, the other things that they have here that you need to look at is there are some fine details as well. There's some text here on the back that says 3D Benchy. Uh, and there is a wheel inside the wheelhouse, inside the, uh, the captain's room there, the boat. And this is a pretty interesting curve so we'll see what details we get there. Mostly though, the biggest overhang you have here on the Benchy test is this front window here where there's this large flat area. So that's gonna be a good bridging test and as well as most of the roof, this underside is, is unsupported. Um, it does just go straight up and it will have to bridge that top part. Now the bottom layers uh, normally don't come out quite perfect when it comes to beginning to build this. Um, sometimes you get lucky and they come out quite nice, but we're more looking at the top of this structure. Although we will take a peek inside there and see if we see any horrible stringing or anything like that. So we are going to throw this on the printer right now. Let's slice it up. I'll turn the printer on. Suppose we probably got to get an SD card and get that in the computer here. So you hear that beep, the printer just turned on, and... Let's go ahead and... Not sure what I can unplug to plug this USB stick in. There we go. Nothing died on me. Camera's still rolling. Alright. So, um, now that I got that stick in there, it should let me save it to removable drive. There we go. And I haven't changed the scale of this or anything. It is just a 100% regular Benchy. We're going to put it on this Delta here and see how the details come out. And we'll be back after we show a little footage of the printing. And we'll talk about what comes up and what we think has come of this Benchy test and whether or not we have a pass or fail situation. So definitely looking for a pass here. This, this machine really hasn't let me down so far with anything I've tried to print. Uh, so I'm looking for a pretty nice Benchy as a result, so I'll see you in a few minutes. And here it is just printing away on this beautiful Benchy. I tried everything I could do to get a better angle on this for you guys, and I was having a really hard time because of the placement of the printer. So when we take it off, we'll take an extra close look at it so you can see all the flaws and defects because I have noticed a few up close that it's hard to see from here. But so far, it's finishing up the bridging on the top, and then we just have the chimney to go. So it won't be long now. All right, let's take a look at our benchy here. It looks pretty good. We can see a little bit of drooping in the overhang at the top. 
of this arch here. Uh, you can see that little blob there. Uh, not too bad though, and it's hard to see from far away. I've got the camera on pretty close right now. The layer lines going this way are slightly visible. This is a 0.16 millimeter height, so uh, that's kind of to be expected. That's a little on the low end. You shouldn't see much for layer lines at that height, but you can see them here. And a couple of defects as well, probably to do with the flow. I haven't ever calibrated the E-steps or the flow of this machine. This is just the factory settings in my default profile. Um, let's take a look at the top. You can see a little bit of stair stepping there. That's normal. Um, that can be reduced by lowering the layer height, although I didn't want to increase the time too much. Uh, the circles are pretty clean and pretty circular. One thing I did notice was you see that little string in there. Um, that was from the bridging when it began bridging this upper part of the window here. Uh, and that started off looking a little rough, but I think the end view is passable. The circle on the back looks nice, as well as the little bucket there. And the top surfaces all look pretty clean. Uh, I probably could have turned on ironing and gotten this surface a little bit less textured. I mean, it's pretty uh, ha cross hatchy, but overall, is a very very passable benchy the arch on the front of the bow looks great these circles are pretty well intact this little overhang here uh, looks like it probably would have done better with support and that's not too much of a lip so um, that's an area where I would definitely watch out with this machine but it looks like everything else seems to be pretty sweet so let me know what you think of this benchy and let me know if you think uh, what settings in particular you think need to be adjusted I think the first one's probably going to be checking that that extruder is calibrated for the right e-steps uh, because other than the slight variance in flow and that somewhat salmony fish scale texture you get from the the rows not being perfectly even um, that may just come from it being a delta machine and it may be from uneven filament flow as well. So uh, I will check into that. And like I said, if you have any ideas on what else could be improved for this benchy, let me know. I did have the text come out pretty well on the bottom, except for the D was fused over, uh, which tells me that it might be over extruding a little bit as well. So we will see you in the next one, guys. Well, that's it guys. That's going to wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers. And so far, I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel. But they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out. And know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link. Check out our Patreon link. Leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.